Hello YouTube, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, so this one is, I kind of covered this in a recent live stream that I did, but I felt it sort of needed a video on its own because a lot of people wouldn't know that I did this in the live stream. Um, and the basics of this video is, I was going to recreate a 303 sound on the, um, the TR6S, which is down here, but um, kind of using this as a little bit more of as, as well as a tutorial on the, uh, the TR6S editor thing here because the it's a great little machine but when you dive in on it is a, yeah it's a pain and they have released Roland have released this editor which actually makes life a hell of a lot easier for, for programming it um, and also a little bit of life performance as well but anyway so we're going to start with a completely blank kit if I press play on here nothing's happening i am just got the standard um, 808 kit on here at the moment so the great thing with the editor is you can basically you've got access to every single um control on here so you've got like an overall one then you've got accents access to each instrument and effects and changing your kits and basically everything that's in here without having to faff about with the menu and i'm guessing the the principle behind what i'm doing would work for the tr 8 s as well if you want to create a 303 sound on there and why wouldn't you uh, you know, if you know my videos, every time I buy a new piece of gear, my first thing is, can I make it sound like a 303? Um, and this does a reasonable job um, at it. If you've not got a 303, you've only got one of these, and you want to get some acid in your life, then uh, all good. So, we're going to start off just with the basic kick drum pattern. We'll get that going first. And... Um, so yeah, for programming this, I mean, you can go to instrument and, and choose your instruments along the top here, or you can actually do it from the overall thing here as well and just check, you know, choose your instruments down here. Let's have a hand clap. Why not? I, I, it's just a, I quite like the fact you can get the, the velocity thing down here as well which makes it really cool so like i say i'm going to just do a little bit of tutorialness on using the tr6 the s editor as well as just doing the 303 sound right so we've got a basic pattern going one thing i do notice though as soon as i plug it in usb i don't know if you can hear it in the background the kind of that noise that's coming from this when you're doing um when you're powering it over usb through a laptop I don't know if it's my cable or it's the machine or whatever, but it's a very annoying noise for which I apologise. That's something I need to try and address. Right, so we're going to do the 303 sound on the third channel, on the low tom channel. Because at the moment we've got a 909 um, open hi-hat. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that bit there. Let's just do that bit again. We're going to click on here, instrument select. We're going to go down to synth 2. And I find the 303 sound works best on here with and i apologize again for that crackling sound um if you can hear that i was going to go in a second that's something to do with my mx1 if anyone knows why i'm getting intermittent crackling when audio goes through my mx1 please tell me because that's driving me mad as well anyway so we're going to go to the uh the saw low oscillator and we get obviously this all updates then based on um the uh sample or the instrument we've loaded in so i'm just going to do like a random some sort of pattern here. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Put down a little bit. So yeah, sounds amazing. So there you go, done. Sounds like a 303. <laughs> uh, not. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is gonna change the time to step and we're gonna bring the decay all the way down. Because generally a 303 is like a note on note of kind of sound. You can mess about with the delay uh, later on, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to put any effects. I'm going to get rid of that just to clear all that at the moment. So, so there we've got like a basic 303 sound. So the only controls we need to worry about are the filter cutoff, the resonance, the filter decay, and the filter envelope, because that's basically the only controls that the, um, the 303 has. So first of all, we can kind of get some 303 squelch just by turning the resonance up and bringing the filter down, the cutoff. Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit of reverb and delay. Yeah, 
out to make sure the bass drum, we're not sending anything to. Make sure. So you've got all your sends available in here, which is also pretty cool. Just gonna have. And you've got accent access as well then over here. So the different types of uh, reverb, we got pan, let's just go for a standard delay. We're going for a plate reverb. Okay, so there we have our basic kind of sound. Um, so really it's just a case of fiddling about with the filter envelope and the filter decay. And we'll wait for that crackle to stop. That's driving me mad. And there you've got 303. Now, obviously, that's all on one note. Um, and it would be a bit boring if we did everything on one note. As far as I can tell, on this editor, you can't uh, do, like, step recording on the tune thing. I've not found out how to do this yet. Uh, tell you what we'll do. Let's see what happens if we accent some of these first. <laughs> So it's going to just make them louder, um, obviously. You can get a little bit of a, get a little bit of movement with the accents on those. Okay, so if I need to go over to the actual unit then to just do some tuning on these. Now I have got a video on my channel if you want to know how to tune these each step to a specific note because it's just a random um, the the tune thing on here kind of goes from naught up to. Um, whatever it goes up to. I think it's 127, is it? Something like that. Uh, yes, it goes from 0 to 127. Um, yeah, which is <laughs> random. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll link to that in the description. So if you want to know how to tune to a specific note, I've got a little chart and a little video about that. So all I'm going to do for now is just going to do some random um, tunings on these. So the way to tune is you hold down the step and then you just turn the tune button. I'm just going to do this at random. Um, The thing is, you've got to remember, if you like tune it up on one note, it's going to, st if you'd like tune it up to 40, it's going to stay on 40 for the rest of the sequence. If you need to go back to your original note, you've got to actually put it back uh, to zero. Uh, so this is going to sound really random. But then, you know, sometimes for an acid line, you want it to be completely random. Um, so if I play it now, okay, it's no different because, I'm going to get rid of those accents. Reason is, we've got to turn. Oh, wait for the crackle to go. We've got to turn the motion on here, which is like your motion recording. Turn that on. Okay, okay we've got a couple of different notes at the end. Let's just change a few more. Okay, so that's giving us a little bit of movement on the, uh, the tune. Um, we could then put the LFO, um, we could use, let's just turn that off a sec, yeah, we could use the LFO to kind of do a bit of uh, automation for us. If I did that on, I don't know, filter cutoff perhaps? Okay, so that's basically just turning this up and down. Okay, so if we want to change the LFO settings, we'd go over, because we're on instrument before, we go over to kit. We've got the LFO here. We can sync it with the temp with the temperature, <laughs> with the tempo. Um, and we can choose the uh, the shape of the LFO here. So, I mean, sine wave's a good one for kind of just kind of going up and down. But if we did it with triangle, it's going to go up and down. Square. Uh, we can have it tempo synced or not. Okay. And obviously you can assign that to any of these. Let's do it on the filter decay. And so on. So I'm just going to turn that off for now. Um, 
So that's how you do it. You can assign, uh, obviously you've got access to one control thing on the actual unit itself. So you can assign like the resonance or the cutoff to that. There are ways of doing it uh, all from the unit. It's, let's just give you an example with the square. Um, so it's, I don't know, it just kind of... I mean, it's kind of got a bit of 303 ness, but I don't think it works quite as well. Uh, it's alright, isn't it? That's not bad, actually. There you go, that's pretty cool. Um, and then we can put like some drive on it and. Actually, that's not bad for 303 kind of setup. Okay, so that is basically a little bit of an overview of the TR6S uh, editor, which is very cool. It's free, just you've got to just sign up for a free rolling cloud account and you'll get this for free. It does make life a hell of a lot easier from a programming point of view. Um, and I'm not actually sure whether you could MIDI map. I don't think you can MIDI map these um, to a, an external controller. Be cool if you could, because then from a live performance point of view, it would be very cool. Um, but yeah, and that's how to uh, sort of make a 303 sound on the uh, on the unit itself. So if you, like I say, if you want to get a bit of acid in your life and you haven't got a 303, but you've got a TR6S or an 8S, because I'm guessing that has the same um, internal sounds, because basically I think they're the same unit, just with more controls on the 8. Um, yeah, that's how to do it. So thanks for watching. If you want any more kind of tips and tricks on the, uh, the TR6S, just stick them in the comment box below the kind of thing you would want me to look at. I mean, I could do an in-depth um, video on the editor if anybody's interested in that, or if you've got any other questions about the TR6S, or indeed any other kind of gear, that sort of stuff, then just stick them in the comments box below and we'll sort them out. If you want to support the channel and help keep me going, just pay me a few dollars a month or euros or pounds, depending on where in the world you're from. There is a link in the description to my Patreon. Let's wait for the crackles to stop. Have they gone? No. Jesus, crackles. And that, if anyone knows how to sort that out, please tell me. I don't know if my MX1 is faulty or what, but it does that intermittently every few minutes, and it is driving me mad. Um, so, yeah, link in the Patreon. Uh, if you Link in the description to Patreon if you want to support the channel. It's all much appreciated. Everything I earn goes back into making my videos uh, better and that kind of stuff. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Share it, like it around, check my music out. And if you've got any suggestions for future videos, stick them in the comments box below. And I will do my best to help you out. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.